what is up youtube welcome welcome back to my channel and back with another video you guys and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to print ship labels using shopify and pirate ship all right so you do not need um shopify at all if you if you're going to use pirate ship you can use sd you can use um big cartel wix GoDaddy. I think all those can connect to pirate ship so pirate ship is um a website that prints out shipping labels for you but um you can use different types of websites now shopify shopify itself prints shipping labels out for you some other websites don't so i'm here to show you how to do it on shopify and pirate ship so let's go ahead and get started here i have my computer um you can use Windows or a MacBook, doesn't matter. Your girl needs a new MacBook though. Um, but this is what are we what we're working on today. As you can see, we have our candle here, you know, just to get little vibes in here. Um, and before we get started, please like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Do not forget to shop at Illy Cosmetics. The, the link will be down in the description below. If you would like some lip glosses, I am having a $3 sale until February 20th. So take advantage of that and let's get started. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see better. I'm not sure if you can see though because I don't know. I'm looking at the camera and it looks dark. All right, so let's go to Google. That's the first thing that you want to do. You want to use Google, not Safari or another website. Google. Okay, so I fixed a bit my camera. I think you guys can see better. I'm not sure. Hopefully you guys can. Go ahead and fix this up a little bit. All right, so on Google, you are going to search up. Um, I'm going to start off with pirate ship first. So if you want to skip the video and go straight to Shopify, that is fine. But I'm going to start off with private ship because private ship, you can use it with several, several, um, website so we're gonna look up pirate ship log wait hold up oh i have this on caps log in all right so sometimes the first link is not going to be the um original so you want to make sure that it looks like this how you are going to see right now this is how you want it to look like. This is exactly how you want it to look like. The logo is the um, skull, however you say that, the bone skull. And it says pirate ship. So on this corner, it says create free accounts or log in. So obviously, if you are new, you're going to create an account. Now, if you are not new and you have downloaded um, pirate ship or access to it, but you just don't know how it works, this is it all right so it says over here import from Shopify obviously that is gonna show up because I already have an account and I already linked my website to pirate ship so therefore I can use Shopify and pirate ship so there's a lot of pros and cons with um, Shopify Shopify is more cheaper than pirate ship but Shopify only prints out 20 labels at a time. It cannot print more than 20 labels. I'm not sure if it's because of the plan that I use now, which is paying $30 a month. I do not pay $80 a month. Um, now, if you do, maybe you can print out more orders, but I can only print 20. And with Pirate Ship, I can print out more. So how to link your website to Pirate ship. So we're gonna go here on settings. Let's go to settings. See if this works. So the first three options are account settings, general settings, and integration. Integration. Sorry, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But this is what you are going to click because this way you can um, connect whatever source that you are using. So over here. On this corner hopefully the ring light is not bothering you 
it says connect new source i already have my shopify connected but over here it says connect new source guess what we have big cartel big commerce um shargify i don't know if that's how you pronounce it create joy um this ebay sd shopify squarespace subby i'm not sure if there's more but those are the websites that you can connect to pirate ship um i thought i thought that wix was there but i'm not sure if you can use wix or godaddy but um if you have any of these websites you can go ahead and click whichever one and then it's going to ask you some information next i'm not going to do it in this video because i already have my shopify i do not want to ruin this um the way i have it so let's say that your website is connected already you want to go to ship over here oh you can't see it hold on let me let me not zoom too much so you guys can see the entire computer all right so over here it says ship you're going to click ship and this page is going to pop up you are going to click on import from shopify or import from big cartel from big commerce whatever website you use is going to show up on this corner all right so here it says to get rates if you want to print all of them you click on this block right here next to actions once you click it once you click it all the shipping labels are now selected meaning that you will print five labels depending how much you want so i'm only going to print out two labels the reason why is because um i'm gonna also be using no i'm sorry i'm going to also be printing out with shopify so i can let so i can show you how to print shipping labels on shopify as well so i'm only going to be using two labels all right so get rates it says get rates for two labels whatever you have selected you want to make sure that the total of number is right on this corner as well all right and then over here when you scroll down it says type of packaging box or rigid packaging all right so because i'm not using boxes i use padded envelopes or um bubble mailers whatever it is whatever is soft and it's just poly mailer or bubble mailer you're going to click this one now if you're using um boxes from the post office which are these like pri priority mail small flat rate and all that then you can go ahead and click that but we're going to use the bubble mailers here is going to say the length all right most of my packaging are six or seven by four or five so you want to make sure that you have the exact measurements um so basically the dim dimensions it doesn't have to be exact let's say it's six by four you can put seven by four seven by five it doesn't really matter but make sure that you have somewhere near the um closest length length and width you do not need the height just length and width all right so here it acts as for the um pounds and ounces this is very important let me tell you why because if you do not put the exact amount your um your package that you sent out can be sent back to your house just because it doesn't have the the same amount why it's because let's say if i put zero pounds um one ounce i'm gonna get a total of two three dollars for the shipping and guess what is is very cheap and let's say the package weights eight ounces and i'm putting one i'm basically i'm basically paying paying less than what i'm supposed to so you are scamming them so do not do that make sure you put the right ounce how will you do that you are going to buy yourself a scale this is the scale that i use um let me go ahead and put the batteries on because I, I did buy some new batteries so i'll be back with that all right so this is how the scale looks like when it's on it's going to be changing numbers because i'm holding it up so you want to make sure that it is on a flat surface otherwise you won't get the exact um weight so make sure that it's like flat like somewhere flat all right 
So this had different types of units. As you can see, it says grams. Let me see, focuses. And here you can switch the units. So I'm using ounces. You can use pound, um, grams, whatever you like, ounces. So you do not have to put the pounds and ounces. You can just put the ounces or you can just put the pounds. So I'm, the reason why I'm not weighing these packages is because I already know, I pretty much know how much they weight. Um, after a time, you will remember how much things weight depending how many items are in. So let's say if there's three items, the amount of ounces is like three to four. So that's what I usually put. Depending how much they order, like let's say they order 10 items, then I'll be putting 10 ounces or it depends um, if all together makes 10 or 5. It all depends. So you want to still um, weigh your items, but I just sometimes don't. But don't do that, please. <laughs> please weigh your items. So I'm going to be putting 3 ounces and then you're going to scroll down and put get rates so yes my computer is touch sorry um it's just much easier for me um all right so we're going to wait until it loads and guess what it's 342 dollars each um shipping label sometimes it will be four dollars sometimes it will be five it all depends where they live and how much it weights so now we buy the labels. So you want to make sure that your card is connected or PayPal, whatever you are going to use to pay these um, shipping labels, make sure that it's there, all right? So now that it's paid for, I'm going to go ahead and print the labels. Okay, so here is the trick. Here is where you want to make sure that if you have four by six or 8.5 by 11 when you put 8.5 by 11 that's because you are using a printer so over here over here I have my canning printer but I'm not going to be using my printer anymore because I have a new thermal label printer so if you're using a printer like this one you want to put you want to put 8.5 times 11 the label printer that I'm using by M U N B Y N and over here in the back I have the shipping labels in a box so because I'm using a thermal printer I am going to keep it by four times six and over here on the bottom is going to say download labels so on this corner, I always get this, but if you're using a different computer, it might be different. It doesn't matter, but if it pops up like this, then click on it. And there you go. We got the shipping label. Um, there will be like something to cover this part because um, it has the personal information, which is address, but you, it has like this printer picture. You're going to click on it. So this is how it's gonna show up. It looks big because I have my printer connected. So you want to make sure that you change this to um, your printer. So mine is M-U-N-B-Y-N. So you want to make sure it's the same name of your printer or label um, thermal printer. All right, and now you are going to click print. Oops, I forgot to turn on my label printer and set it up. Here's what you're going to do. I'm going to turn it on. The turn on button is on the back and it's gonna make this noise and the green light or red light is going to turn on. Now I'm going to be putting my ship label through the back. is going to take it and then start printing. There you go. I got my shipping labels. Okay, so over here on this corner, oops, on this corner it says orders and it says three. So depending how many orders you have. So right here, 
Let me zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> Right here it says unfulfilled. You want to click unfulfilled because those those are the orders that are not yet done, meaning they are not printed out. They're not shipped. They're nothing has happened to them. So that means when they're not unfulfilled. So once again, this is the same step as pirate ship. You're going to click that box to get all of them selected. And over here it says create shipping labels. So want to click on that as well so this is how it looks like and um, basically it tells you what they ordered this is not the same as pirate ship you can actually put the amount of weight for each person meaning Let's say this person ordered five items and the total weight is six ounces. You can put six ounces. And let's say the next person only ordered two things. You'll put two ounces or three ounces. So it's kind of confusing. Um, but if you're a beginner, I recommend uh, Shopify to start off with Shopify. If you are not using Shopify, then I recommend Pirate Ship. Right? So. Here you can change the amount. So it has three ounces. I'm going to switch it to four because it is four items. And then the total is going to be there. So over here on this corner, it says, it says the total and buy three shipping labels. You're going to hit buy once you have made sure that everything is correct, the weight and the total amount. So now we are going to click on print three ship enables but over here says change format just in case you are using um let's say a thermal printer is going to say four by six a, a normal printer is going to say 8.5 by 11. so i'm going to click obviously the four by six print three ship enables Do the same exact steps as we did with the um, pirate ship. And we hit print and now they print out. So if you are using a normal printer, it is going to be the same steps. You hit click, I mean print, and it's going to print out. Um, you can use normal paper or you can use shipping labels that are the size of this and we'll print this side and this side. But um, so that is for beginners, let's say you can't afford a thermal printer yet, um, use normal paper or ship and label uh, paper. All right, you guys, so this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys learned something today. So this is how you print out with Shopify and private ship. If you have any more questions and you are still confused, I can do a part two, or you can just comment down below any questions you have and I will be gladly to answer as much as I can. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe, follow me on all social medias, and I will see you guys on my next one.